Okay, uh, okay, uh, I guess we gotta introduce ourselves. So my name is Nate. And my name is Zed. Wait, what's your name? Zed. Oh, come on. What's your name? Gigi. This is Cade, and we're gonna be playing a game called The Everloom, which I heard about on uh, NeoGAF in the Indie Games forum. Are you excited? So this game is like a... It's kind of like a... Well, let's just play it. New game. Yes, delete the save file. Often late at night, I wake from vivid dreams. Enchanted places, bizarre creatures. I tell myself they have no consequence. They're just visions in my head. But this time... This time it was different. The black wind blows. Welcome, dreamer, for the sake of courtesy, but do not think we mean to imply choice. Is that the right voice? It should be more like angelic. Yeah. Welcome or unwelcome. <laughs> <laughs> Jews. We have no understanding of such <laughs> things. We do not know why you are here. We have only one purpose, and it does not require understanding. Upon the Everloom we weave the threads of time. With the weave room we form the waves of dreams. This is our understanding. By coming here you have stopped us from our task. We do not understand why. We can only give you time. Time in this dream to discover your fate. Do with it what you will. Use WASD or arrows to explore the forest. Escape will return to the menu. Okay, so we gotta move our dude around. Do you wanna do it or do you want me to do it? So that's our dude. We move him around with these buttons. What? Which buttons? A, S, D, W. So they're kinda like arrow keys. You wanna do it? Um, or do you just wanna watch? I wanna do it. Okay, so you gotta put your Lego down. It's okay, so right here. That is not Lego. What is it? Um Mega Blocks. Okay, sorry, Mega Blocks. So okay, so W A S T. Actually I think you can even um, use these arrow keys up, down, left, and right. Could you jump? No jump. Look at this, I'm walking into you. <laughs> okay, let's explore Wee. the area. Woo go. Wee. Woo. Okay, let's go over here. Alright, good idea. Whoa. Ah. Got smoked. He got smoked. Ah. I don't think you can go down there. Wee. I'm gonna turn it off. I don't think you are. Try going up. Okay. Ah! Okay. That's pretty cool. Let's go in here. What's in here? I don't know. Let's check it out. Hey! Hey, who's that guy? You can walk up to him and then pull out space. Fats fancies himself an explorer, like this is some bloody safari. He's been dragging me all over. A jolly old lot of good it's done us too, I'll tell ya. You've angered that dangerous looking sphinx, and now I've lost my signet ring. Obviously I couldn't care less about the monetary value, I'm exceedingly rich you know. But I have a sentimental attachment to it, and I couldn't possibly leave without it. I've already looked everywhere, but if you manage to find it, I'll reward you handsomely. Hey, let's, let's check out that blue... Whoa! Cool. Ooh, what a delicious young man you are! Brrr, yes, mm. Tell me I'm pretty, you handsome boy. <laughs> Ooh, yes. Mm, you want to pass? Oh, no, 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 no. You need to solve my riddle first. Yes, brrr. What was alive before sun and moon? What is there left in an empty room? 
what doth exist between twelve and noon? What do you see right after a swoon? Bring this to me, or meet your doom! Was that too dramatic on the last line? You know, I'd never heard a little dish like you. Hee hee hee! Oh, humans, you're so much fun to play with. <laughs> so do you get that riddle? Do you know the answer? No. I think I do. Oh, you're back for more. Couldn't stay away. What was alive before sun and moon? Nothing. What is there left in an empty room? Nothing. What doth exist between twelve and noon? Nothing. What do you see right after a swoon? Nothing. <laughs> That's... I got nothing for you. Take it, take it, take it. I got nothing. Uh, okay, let's talk to these other guys. Who's this is big guy with his hair? <clears throat> Monsters and madness, what? I've never been a man to complain, but if this is a dream, why can't I wake up, hmm? Something has shifted in the way things usually work. It's all very mysterious. I've been trying to figure it out, but the switch for this gate is up on those cliffs, and I'm much too fat to go climbing up to it. I can appreciate a solid adventure as long as it doesn't require exercise. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, I've decided to give up. You should take this string I found. I was going to be clever and braid it up for climbing, but uh, maybe you'll find some better use for it. I got some string. Right, right up there. What are we going to do with this string? Maybe this. Maybe that's between sun and moon. She doesn't like string. Oh, get out of here. Hey, sweet. What? You can just walk away when you're talking to somebody and then it'll, it'll quit so you don't have to wait. That's pretty helpful. Okay. Which way should we go? Let, let's go back in there and explore another way. Sure, which like, way? Up. Up, up it is. Up, up. up it is. Ooh, it's a town. Ah, bugs. Look a frog. Should I talk to him? I feel terrible. I ate too many water cacti and now all oh, my stomach hurts. Here, take my scythe. If I can't pick them, I can't eat them. You can now harvest water cacti by touching them. Is that what these things are? Try tying the string onto the cactus, but the knot slips off. Uh... Oh, naughty toad pad, those cacti are full of helium. Oh, they're like balloons. I use them to fill my airship. You might have seen it down southwest of here. Serves him right. I suppose I can't stay mad. He's just so adorable. Sure, he may look monstrous, but I dreamed him up all on my own. That's something to be proud of. What's that thing mo mothers loving their children? Anyway, I could never live without him, and he's too sick to fly. My mother always used to give me ice cream when I had a stomach ache, but I don't have any money. And that ice cream man really clings to his merchandise, you know? I guess I'll just have to wait. I kind of don't want to hit this... I don't want to hit that thing, because I don't want to... I feel like we need them, but it just disappeared. somebody's house. Oof. It's glitchy. Yeah. It's probably just all this grass. What's this? I do not trust the cultists. They are full of bad intentions. I keep watch. I will not allow them to commit their crimes so easily. My task is difficult, though. I cannot always keep track of them. I became lost when I tried to follow them south. They fashioned fiery gates and booby traps. <laughs> booby. I think the weaver is in terrible danger, but it does not listen to me. We humans have no authority here. If you remain, you may perish when they complete their plans. I have tried to convince the others to leave, but they will not. Or cannot. I do not know what to do. Therefore, I remain. And I watch. Go ahead. Let's go up there. Whoa, what's that thing? Oh, if 
think we found the source of our glitchiness. Look at all those particles. That's one raging fire. Should we talk to these dudes? He didn't say anything. He didn't say anything. He didn't say anything. He didn't say anything. Let's get out of here. We're in the glitch zone. Oh, oh. Well. What the jet? Did he. Was he there to begin with and he just disappeared? Oh, this guy's gone. Where's he going? What's happening? He was supposed to disappear, or was that a glitch? I think he was just. He like. You think those are like teleporters or something? Yeah. <clears throat> or maybe those guys are just a spell. Oh, maybe. Oh, uh, what's this guy? Oh, hello. You must be new. There might be a place for you here, but if it's gotten Full. Too many people are stranded. I came here a long time ago myself. My daughter Izzy disappeared one day and I got lost in the woods trying to find her. When I got here I found her standing in a clearing talking to a sphinx. She was young and I can't blame her but she made some foolish deal with the sphinx. Now neither of us are able to leave. It might have worked out well. This is a beautiful place after all but she started to fade away. Now I can't even see her anymore. I know she stands over on that cliff above the waterfall. If you could see her, could you bring me something of hers, some memento? It's good to know she's still here. So, okay, we gotta uh, keep track of what we're doing here. That chick wants ice cream. This lady's which way haven't been this way? Yeah, we have we never been that way. Okay, let's check it out. <gasps> hey, that's the chick on the cliff you're saying. Water is so clear, and look, there's nothing down below those cliffs. I think this whole island is floating. I feel so free here, the wind blowing, and nothing but sky in all directions. It's like this dream I used to have when I was younger. I'd be flying up in the clouds with a great bunch of balloons tied to my waist. None of this is real, right? I feel I could fly away if I drummed, but I'm just too afraid to try. You're a bummer. That chick's a bummer. If she wants to fly, just just do it. Whoa. I am the Watcher. I see all things. I see this world disintegrating. I see black voids where there should be earth and sky. I see a black end coming. Failure. Grief. I see. I see. Peace. I guess every time you go some... I, there's a new world. Hey, hey, step right up. I got all the ice creams you'll ever need. What, yo, buddy, this is a perfectly legitimate place to park a truck, so shut up. How'd you get here anyway? I've been trying to leave forever. One day I'm just driving along and bam, I'm in this crazy place. No one's got any money, too. That Lazarus fella wants me to scram, but I can't just leave my stuff melting in the sun. I got quotas to make. What's it gotta do, eh? I've, I'm a business guy, right? I tells him, look, fancy pants, if you gets me the money for my cargo, I'll go wherever you like. Where I comes from, people's, people are always hassling me. You just gotta stare them down, especially the cheap ones. Anyway, it's not like I can get any worse from here, you know what I'm saying? If I can't get me some customers, that airship lady so she can get me out. But, yeah, like I says, no, no one's buying nothing, I ain't got nothing to pay for with. Blah, blah. He wants... I have an idea. This guy. Look at his airship. Hey, you have some string. You want me to tie some tethers for you? It's my specialty, you know. I was the only one who could make a proper harness for the water cacti. We would have been stranded here forever. Otherwise, you'd think it were to thank you, but no. Whoa! Look. He turned all 
Well, he turned our string into all those little tethers. Now you know what I bet you we can do? What? Check this out. Pow. 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 Oh, yeah. I can just feel the frame rate dropping. out. We got a whole crap load of balloons now. What are we gonna do with these? Who who said that she wanted to fly? Do you remember? Yeah. Is it because I was using stupid voices the whole time? Yeah. I think there was a girl up here who said she wanted to fly. Didn't she say she wanted to jump off and fly? Let's give her all these balloons and then she can jump and fly. That's a lot of balloons! Do you really think I'll float away? Okay, let's try it. Wow, look, it's working. Please tell Daddy I made it out. A single strand of red hair blows back on the wind, and I catch it. With all the luck in the world, I catch a single piece of hair. She's out of there. I wonder where she's going. We had to do with you know who was looking or who was looking for his daughter. Him. Yeah. Isabel floated away. I can't remember what voice I used for him. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised. She was spending so much time on that cliff. Thank you for helping her. Maybe I'll ask Martha for a ride out. See if I can find her. Anyway, can I help you with anything before I go? That Sphinx is getting you trouble. Oh, but she's all bluster. That blue fire she's sitting next to isn't real. You just need the confidence to walk through it, didn't you notice? The answer to a riddle is nothing. The cat? Remember she was asking the riddle? Uh-huh. Oh man, of course, the answer is nothing. <laughs> you knew it. <laughs> I didn't know it. <laughs> Maybe I should have just tried walking through the walking through the fire. Oh, look at you, naughty boy, walking through my fire. Purr. Peace. That was easy. Oh, there's something over here. I'm hiding. Hey, that's the guy. The brothers wanted to sacrifice me. I'm hoping they'll pick someone else if they can't find me. The whole idea is stupid anyway. The plans aren't going to work and they could kill us all. They're just a bunch of fools with too much power who think they know everything. <laughs> Here, take this key and it'll turn the knobs on the fire gates down south. Maybe you can figure out how to stop them. I can't. I'm too afraid. Now go away. We got a key for those, for those flames at the bottom, remember? First way that we went in. Uh -huh. the switch is too stiff. You'll need something heavy to hold it down. Like maybe that fat guy. Let's see. I like I like the art of this. Oh, I see. 
I see what they're doing here. Some sort of a, some sort of a tricky little puzzle. Understand you because you had a Spider-Man in your mouth. <laughs> Sick. 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 Uh, Sick. 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 Shoot, I don't know which way to go. I'm really gonna be bummed out if we go back to the beginning. Okay. Yeah! Oh, I think I did it. Okay, now top or bottom? I think bottom. Bottom it is. Yeah. Oh, that's okay. We get back there. How do we get there? Okay. That takes you over there. And we took this one. Yep. And then we try the bottom. So now do the top. Yep. It was more choppy. Okay, then was it this way? Yeah, and then it was in here. And then I don't think I've been in here yet. Ah! No big. Let's go in here. Slacking. where I could discover the deep mind. For millennia I have meditated, undisturbed, alone, in this nirvana happy. I was a true sage, a master of thought, a drifter, traveling along the ways of dreams, empty of desire. Are you getting any of this? Do you understand what I'm saying? No. No. <laughs> I'll see if I can summarize for you. The men, those, those, those sages, those guys that were standing around, all the all the portals, and then that one guy that disappeared because he didn't want to get sacrificed. Yeah. That means he would get killed. So now this guy is telling me that those guys have come and they're trying to use this world for bad reasons. Now everyone is trapped here, as we are. We're trapped in this world too. It's because those bad guys are trying to turn this world into a bad place. I will be sorry to leave, but I know things are not meant to last forever. If you want to know the great secret, though, remember this. There are no endings. Uh-oh. 
we spend our lives searching for things that don't exist, hoping our attachments will bring us peace. I could dissolve this world with my great secret, but the others have made their own attachments. So he's saying, nothing ends, and this world could disappear with the secret that he knows. Maybe I'm not understanding myself. But uh, because other people are getting attached to this world, it's keeping this world alive. Oh no, okay, so we need to let the other people, like that girl with the balloon, we need to s help her escape. We need to help people escape this world before we can evict, we, before we can get rid of the bad guys. Oh, so you're trying to clear away the All the people. good guys, yeah, we're trying to help all the good guys. So that's, that's why she wanted to float away? And so she wants to escape. And then this ice, that ice cream man, he wants to get out of here. So he just gave us an egg of revelation. He used, I used it to hatch this world, and it can be used to unmake it. It has been too long for me, though. I do not remember how it works. Well, just give it to me. I know exactly how it works. My mind is empty after all these years. Well, what do you have? He gave me the egg of revelation. It's the one thing that can unend this world and it, and it let us escape that's the only thing the only thing so don't <laughs> oh, God, I just dropped it it broke <laughs> so don't drop it <laughs> just kidding man I'm hungry I'm gonna make a omelet of revelation <laughs> maybe uh Maybe a sausage McMuffin of Revelation. <laughs> oh, Dad. Oh, Dad. Okay, here we go. Teleport to the beginning. Word him up. Let's get out to here. Now that we got this egg, you know what? I think we're going to drop... Let's see. Maybe she has something new to say. Let's drop the egg on that switch. Let's see if that see if that does something. Can't remember where it was, so. I think it was out here. Oh, uh, sorry, where? Oh, oh, out there. Here? Yeah. sour stomach so we gotta help him with like a medicine or something something that he can eat uh, I don't wanna go so he can't eat those balloons no he can't eat those those cactus balloons I think we gotta do something up here in the in this do, do you do you do you have any time until it disappears This egg, this is the key to everything. How did you find it? The sage is correct. We must get everyone out. I will prepare to use this egg. You must do what you can to make people leave. If it is any help, you may use my revealing eye to assist you. I left it to watch the passage south of here, but I have no need of that now. How did you get past the fiery gates? A key? I may need to use that. Let me know when everyone is ready. So he took your key and the egg. So they are all bad guys? He's... They're all bad guys? Those, yeah, I think those guys are trying to wreck this place. They're trying to ruin this world. And 
and then in turn locking everybody here forever. So we gotta go talk to that eye. Remember that thing? Uh huh. Uh, where was it? He took the key. He took the key. Yeah, I think we gotta go. I think it was this way, actually. It's okay that he took the key, because I don't think we need to go in there anymore. We gotta find that eye. I think it's right here. Yep. I shall recognize a new master. May I reveal for him all? That which is hidden. Yeah, sure. Do it. You even have to escape him. Oh, cool, look. He's your friend? Yeah, but he's showing me, so we gotta keep our eyes out for sparkly stuff. He's showing you he's where showing the... us par He's showing us where all the pieces of stuff are. So keep your eyes open in case I miss something, too. We're looking for anything sparkly. But, but then the eye would show you. Yeah. Well, he won't tell us. He'll just show us. He'll just see a sparkle on the ground. See anything sparkly? See anything sparkly? See anything sparkly? Like that! that ring back to whoever it was that wanted it. I can't remember. Who wanted the ring? Oh, the one guy standing next to the fat guy. Swindler, you know. Family name goes way back. Needn't have asked. We got one cash. Who wanted cash? Who wanted money, so... The, the little girl so she could buy ice cream. Where did mom? I 
think I remember what. Where she? she was right there. No, I don't think she, she wants to help her frog. I think that. He wanted, I can't remember because he might have just wanted money. Maybe it has nothing to do with the ice cream, but it has to do with the ice cream man wanting the money. Because then he can pay that girl to take him out. Yeah, hey, that's alright, what a cash you got, sir. You, you want to buy it all up? Haha, <laughs> fine by me. I'm more ready to leave. I can buy my way on that blimp now. What is so thing. I'll just leave it here. I can buy two trucks with this wad. I got some ice cream. Okay, so we got ice cream. Now, who wanted ice cream? The frog. There you go. Yeah. Did you forget? Yeah, you were paying attention better than I was. I forgot that Ice cream? I suppose I'd better give him a ride now. I guess we can leave whenever. I'll make my way down there after I get this to toad pad. Well, we're all packed in. It was a tight fit, but we still have some room. Are you sure you want to stay? Okay, well, good luck to you then, and thanks again for all your help. Alright, you lot. Time to weigh anchor and set sail. Eve ho! Pull in that main line. Draco, you take the wheel. There they go. Release some ballast. We need some more height. Look out below! Dish. Hey, hey! Ah, good, you stay behind. I need your help. I've been trying to work with this egg, but there is still some strong attachment obstructing it. I was able to block the cultists, but I believe the Sphinx has done something to anchor the island. There's a gate she has been guarding. I have never seen anyone go in there, but I'm suspicious. Her motives are beyond me. I do not know how she even got here. Maybe we can use this stone to prop the switch open and find out. Is he helping you? I think so. So we got a big rock. Do you remember what we should do with a big rock? No. Is there anything we need something heavy for? The lever. The switch? Yeah. Swiggity it sweet. Let's drop this rock on the switch. Do you see that up there? There are some sort of cursed trees. The gold is maybe up. must be on to us. I'd better give us some protection. Roko ko kyum. Whoa, 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 hey! Those trees are shooting at us. This game would be fun if we had a sword, hey? <laughs> hey! What are you doing? Get away from the weaver! Do not try to stop the inevitable, Lazarus. It will only end badly for you. The path you and your cult brothers are making is nowhere near inevitable. Nagios! Is that one of the bad ones? Yeah. Let's get, 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 here. Now what? Oh, you're back from, oh, come on. What was the gate? Oh, it was down here, remember? This <laughs> electric gate. This is a wind walk. Be on your guard. I do not know what they will do if they catch us out here. Wow, trees shooting leaves at us. Leaves don't hurt, but yet I'm scared. Ah, ah, ah. Uh. Oh, maybe they're not leaves, they're like little globs of goo. Why am I dripping with goo? Halt! You may go no further. Show 
fool. You fools have wasted enough of my time. This place is not meant for you. Leave now. <laughs> you don't like my little trees? The others know you're coming. You cannot stop our plans. <laughs> Who's the fool here? Not me. I can tell you that. Now you guess. I've had enough. We must end this now. Is he freezing all of them? Yeah, hold on. I just gotta take a leak. <laughs> Whew. Hold that in for like half an hour. All these waterfalls were making me have to go. I forgot to wash my hands. we can find a way out of here. Those tethers? Yes, it's all very strange. But clever, really. The Sphinx is a sly dog, or should I say, cat. The Sphinx, I believe, comes from Isabel's mind, much like how Toad Pad came from Martha's. One of the girl's dreams about the Sphinx must have become tangled in this place. It can happen. Two dreams colliding. The, wet, the weaver is trapped here, so it could not prevent the tangle. The Sphinx probably realized what was happening, so she asked the girl for a memento. A lock of hair, perhaps. Seems that the cops... It's gonna be tough, could be good skin. The last four hours off the sky, it's gonna come and get the same set the roll. It's gonna have to monks, gonna have to get together for the author, it's gonna be the balance. Let's fix around stage dreams, let's create that wolf monster. Like a magnet balancing its poles. <laughs> Makes sense. What else could the Sphinx do but lock the beast away for hope for the best? Using his ball hairs to physically tether the beast was clever. Tied the dreams together even more. Very neat, very Sphinx like, I must say. She must have called the cultists in after that to help her fix the problem. Isabel was fading away, perhaps Sphinx thought she could replace her. I suppose we cannot blame her if she just wanted to stay alive, as all dreams do. We do not know what that will do, though. The cultists are messing about with dangerous magics. The Weaver is the important thing here. We have to evict the cultists from this dream. Should be simple. Simple. The Sphinx is their tether. She will be weak now. Isabel's gone. I do not believe they have sent us far. This is the same dream. The exit will just be a puzzle. Perhaps you can work it out while I conjure a spell to release that wolf. Okay, we got one more. I think we got one more puzzle to go here. Uh... Oh, look at this. <laughs> that was it! Hold on! I'm bringing us back. Stand away. I do not know how the creature will react. I can protect us if it attacks. Probably. Ready? Ready, asshole! What is that? Could it be? <gasps> no!
actually, before I go, I'm just gonna grab some... Oh no, 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 no. I was just gonna grab some ice cream. Whoa. Two small lights were glowing within the dark threads. It has been so long since our limbs were free, but it seems we have remembered how to use them. Fly away, little dust motes. The black wind fades. These new currents will take you home. I never learned what happened to the cultists, but I have a feeling I haven't seen the last of them. Somehow, it feels like things have just begun. The end? The end? The Evolume! It's the Evolume by Lucas Pack! So that, that was that was really short. Yeah, it was just like well, I bet you that it took a guy a lot, a lot of time to make, you know. What did you think? Yeah, from making the cracks. From well, yeah, making the cracks at the end there, and making all the he drew all the, all the characters and all the backgrounds and all the trees, and probably even the music. Pretty cool, eh? Yeah. You think that was a cool game? Uh-huh. I... What was your favorite part? Um... At the very end. What? When what happened? Uh, at the really, 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 really end. Like when the... When the... That... The... What was it called? The weaver was holding them on her hands? Yeah. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Yeah, I liked when the I liked when that beast went and came and attacked the Sphinx and ripped it to, ripped it to crap. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's a pretty pretty wicked game. Uh, yeah. So my name is Nate. This is Cade. <laughs> we were just playing the uh, the. No, episode. my name is. Oh, sorry. My name is Nate, and this is <laughs> And we, we were playing The Everloom by Lucas Pack. You can check it out. I'll leave a link to it in the comments. Uh, so do feel free to uh, play it yourself now that you know exactly how to solve all the puzzles. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> I just spoiled the whole thing for you. So, yeah. This has been... And, and tell them how to do it. How to do what? How to do, make the, how to finish the game. Well, they'll watch that video and they'll see how we did everything. They'll see the whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> Is that good? Yeah, so then the, the, all, the first time they try, they'll know how to do it. There you go. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, we don't do this a lot, so uh, maybe we'll do it more. But uh, did you like did you like doing something like that? Yeah. Sounds like no. So, yeah, this is the last one we'll ever do. Peace out. Thanks for watching. Later. <laughs>